It's, uh, it's really great to be here tonight. I'm standing here tonight because Tag Heuer is a company that gets it. Because Tag Heuer understands that they have a corporate mission, yes, but also a global mission. A mission that is bigger than all of us to protect our planet. It's no secret that in addition to my day job, I also advocate on behalf of the environment. And I'm proud to be here today celebrating a company that is standing up to give back to environmental nonprofit organizations alongside me. Now, the ec ecological threats facing our planet do matter. They matter to me, they matter to Tag Heuer, and they should matter to every country and every corporation on this planet. Some already get it, some don't. Tag Heuer has shown that they are a leader in the climate change movement because of the model they have employed, the model they have helped create by making meaningful donations to organizations like the Natural Resources Defense Council and Greed Cross International. As a part of their business model, Tag Heuer has shown other companies that they can do good and make a profit at the same time. I'm really excited about Tag's limited edition Aqua Racer 500, which we created together. Of course, it's a great timepiece because Tag Heuer makes great timepieces, but even more than that, it is a simple statement. Buy a watch, help protect our planet's resources. How meaningful is that? But while Tag Heuer is standing up to do its part, so many others haven't gotten the message. My hope is that Tag has paved the way so that other corporations can follow suit. At the same time, governments must also do their part. Last year, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon reminded us that our climate and climate change are at the core of every great challenge we face today. We need to build a robust global political movement to accelerate our transition to clean fuels and sustainable energy. Governments need to set an example, both through direct investment in environmental change and through policies that encourage private industry to act. I'm proud to say that the United States, in the United States, we now have an administration in Washington that is starting to do its part in the fight against climate change. Our president, President Obama, believes in, in and understands the opportunities that a green revolution can bring to all Americans. For once, green jobs and energy independence are truly on the radar. Yet we're still fighting to move clean energy legislation through our Senate, now, in an effort to increase awareness, I recently joined the NRDC to create the This Is Our Moment campaign. Our goal was to raise awareness among everyday Americans who will then put pressure on their elected officials to vote in the current clean energy bill, which is currently in front of the Senate. If we don't do this now, when will it ever get done? We need to set an example for the rest of the world to follow. This is our moment. And as we speak, the NRDC is working to deliver that message to American lawmakers. I know that Tag Heuer understands the importance of now. Since its inception 150 years ago, Tag Heuer has been socially responsible, investing a vast amount of resources and ideas in important initiatives, from foundations to benefit children to sustainability initiatives. With this partnership, Tag Heuer has become even more active on the environmental front than ever before. They've truly set a precedent. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the entire Hoyer family, in particular Jack Hoyer, who has made this company what it is today, and for all his hard work and commitment to save our planet. I'd like to thank the forward-thinking, progressive CEO of Tag Hoyer, John Christoph Babin. His leadership distinguishes Tag Hoyer from other companies, and I am truly excited to work alongside you. Happy anniversary and thank you for inviting me to speak. Now there's one other introduction I'd like to make tonight which arrived together along with Ilan, the Grand Carrera Pendulum. 